another exciting episode of the Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Guy. And I'm Mr. Magazine. And it is Saturday, another bolo. We try every Saturday to give you what sold on eBay uh, over the past week or two. Uh, so that way you get some, some hints as to what to look for when you're out there. We try to give you a little bit of humorous banter, or at least some banter, <laughs> and take it away. And uh, I don't want to throw my back out reaching for this mouse, and here we go. You can find these at Walmart. It's an M2 machine, striped 67 Chevy Nova, Cherry Nova. Anyways, these cost about 8 to 10 bucks. There's rare ones, there's chase ones, so like my employee usually buys them charging me 10 bucks. He makes a couple bucks, and I make almost 8 bucks on this, less the fee. So, But there are chase ones that can go for 50 and 100 bucks. So they're very distinctive cases. They're in pl little plastic, they're 164 scale. And Walmart, Target, they get them all the time. And they're in the stores yep. as we speak. Yep, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, take a look. You know, you can make money on them. Now, are any of them not worth buying? They all, everyone I've had, like, my guy just buys them all because they usually go for 20 bucks. So, I mean, and then you're going to, if you get the Chase one, so if there's, there's like 10 in the display, and usually there's one Chase in there. So the one Chase is going to be like 40 or 50. Wow. There, there were some rare ones that were like $100. They're like a super Chase, I guess. So maybe, maybe every 10 cases of 10. You get one, but yeah, it's crazy. But what kind of car is that? It's a Chevy Nova. Oh wow! So, yep. so they made the Chevy Nova, and then they're gonna make uh, maybe a chase of that. Correct. It yeah. would be a, a, a like a different version, different interior, different right. wheels, something different, something special on it. Yep. So it would be a wait for it. Here it comes, a Chevy Chase. Yeah, yeah, it really is a Chevy Chase. Yeah, sure. Moving on. <laughs> All right, I didn't. Uh, here we go. Um, I talk about these poster magazines all the time. You can't go wrong if you find these anywhere. They're always going to sell for 20 bucks on them. Uh, and I feel I sold this cheap, but I had a bunch of them. Uh, motocross posters, June 1990, 10 fold-outs. I mean, think about this. 30 years old. Okay, hold on, I'm thinking. 30 years old, all the 10 posters are still intact. People love taking that stuff up, putting it on the walls right. in the garage, whatever. So, yeah, they're tough to find, always in demand. Any poster books, grab them while you can. I'm trying to think, but nothing happens. Yeah, me too. Moving on. Who would have thought a Seinfeld oh. Mad Magazine would go for 17 bucks? Who would have thought? Who are these people that paid $17 for this Mad Magazine? Exactly. And he's even seen Hello Newman on the cover. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, is yeah, funny. Yeah, it is funny. But yeah. yeah it looks, doesn't look like much. You know, the artwork's uh, mad artwork, and uh, it's not even that old. 19, for Mad, it's not old from 1997. Great shape. So, and you'll see them in garage sales. Oh, yeah, sales that, definitely. So, definitely. definitely don't lap these things out. You can get a lot more money breaking them up individually. Who would lap that out? Okay, moving on. Another magazine. Now, this happens to be my favorite car of all time, the Lamborghini Countach from the 80s. Uh, it's right on the cover. This car sells all the time, no matter what cover it is. Lamborghini Countach. So, so that would be a keyword. Keyword of all keywords yeah. as yep. far as cars go. Sure, absolutely. Nice. Yeah. Moving on. So, it's a Sports Illustrated, Evil Knievel on the cover. Now, now he is somebody that sells all the time. He does sell all the time. So, uh, I think that maybe it wasn't the best con condition, but it had a mailing label. So, I got 17 bucks out of it. Plus I, shipping. Plus shipping. I would guarantee with no mailing label, it's got to be 50 bucks or more. Easily. At this point, yeah, definitely. Sure. So definitely. See that out there? They're common, but very popular. So, you know, the demand outweighs the supply. Well, again, though, you, you go to a garage sale or you go to a stand a dealer stand or something like that and he's got a bucket piece for sports illustrated yeah. cherry pick that one because that one will yeah, sell absolutely. quickly yep. 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 All right. last what about post me? fontaine yeah exactly yeah of course you guys think this is a paper boy sale huh well uh, i thought it was Mr. magazine uh, a little um he's not the only one we've seen magazines. so what we do is before the show he picks out his uh items and I pick out my items and we don't look at each other's items because we want the first time we see it to be on air because we think that that's you know best for the show and best for everything and get honest reaction well I was looking and counting up my items and I said wait did I accidentally click on a scene magazine and I clicked on it and he starts yelling at me what are you looking at my items so uh, so yep yeah. oh 51 dollars yeah. uh, I think it took less on this maybe 40 or 45 but yep yeah, had Benatar doesn't look like much, but they're rare. Always saw it after in demand. Wow. So. I saw mine cheap then. Yeah. Holy mackerel. Yeah. You know what else I sell cheap? Phillips Broadway 500 watt, 120 volt P2 
P28S6800C light bulb P3 compact source. Wow. Say that five times fast. Yeah. Uh, I think I took $15 on that. So I was at a church sale, I believe, and they had this. And it was in package. And I said, that's the perfect thing to put on Amazon. Guess yeah. what is going on on Amazon? Not this? It's gated. Oh. Guess who is not? How old is this? Uh, I don't I don't know. Know. It looks older, like 70s or 80s. No, that's why it wouldn't be on Amazon. Four or five years, okay. eight wow. years, so something like that. Yeah. The UPC on there. Huh? Okay. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Wow. So. You're not geared for light bulbs. I am not opened up the Cell Phillips light, Broadway light bulbs on there. Oh, that's a shame. I, you know, I, I really got to start writing that letter now because I may find another one of these in 35 years. Yeah. Um, paid a dollar for it. I ended up taking $15 out of it. And again, it kind of ties into what we always say. Sometimes go outside your niche if it's something or other that just, you know, it's new old stock as far as that goes. And I kind of thought it was halfway decent for, you know, to pay a dollar on. Because, again, it's, it, I don't know what all that 500W120V, all that stuff means. Oh, I know, I do, but I don't really know what it all means yeah. put together. Mm -hmm. So it looked to be a specialty kind of light. Sure. And I got 15 bucks out of it, so... There we are. Cream Completed Songbook, 1967, Eric Clapton, Ginger Baker, Jack Bruce. Another item, as we've spoken in the past, that normally I would put on Amazon. Guess what? It was not on Amazon, hmm. which I found hard to believe. Now, what if it were in, like, new condition? It still would not be on Amazon. No. It's simply not on Amazon. Well, no, but you could have listed it. Oh. Just yeah, I could have, yeah. Simply not on Amazon. So I, I took $25 out of it. I paid a dollar for it. It was in, you know one of those places where they had sheet music and all that kind of stuff. And I just kind of was picking through. And this one caught my eye as being something or other good. And it is kind of neat because it's got you know the pictures of the band and everything you know throughout along with the songs. You know, so I, I knew it was a halfway decent piece. Um, and I got $25 out of it off of a dollar. Why is the guy in the middle so happy and everyone else is not? I cannot answer that. <laughs> because he just heard oh I know why he just heard their song played on WBEN Buffalo New York uh, 1941 brochure radio Jack Benny we all love Jack Benny Eddie Cantor K, uh, K. Kaiser radio items sell the one problem with radio items is there's really not a very good category to put it in a lot of people will put it which which I just learned talking to uh, Jiminy Flippet and uh auction professor they put it in the communications utilities area i always put it in the entertainment other area um but theirs makes sense as well so i may change then again this sold so it doesn't really matter but it's kind of really neat the underside had a lot of um pictures of the various stars that that they they simulcast their you know syndicated yeah. the programs uh but these were the various stars that were on including jack batty eddie cantor etc uh, Kay Kaiser got listed because she fit her name fit on there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta be honest. Sure. We're an honest show. We don't lie about anything. Next item we have up over here. One, Whoa, Yowzer. One summer in Hawaii. You know, a few more sales like this, I may be able to spend one hour in Hawaii. Uh, by Helen Mather Cassell Publishing. Cassell Publishing, 1891. It did go for the $334. It did take a while to sell. It took nine years to sell. Uh, I would have done my research back in 2013 and figured it was worth $334, uh, listed it, and it did end up selling. Uh, 1891, though, is early for Hawaii things. Uh, it was obviously definitely pre-statehood. Uh, so you definitely want to pick up anything Hawaii that you find. That is That it definitely does sell. All that stuff does sell. No doubt all about it. Was that the Beaver's mom? Uh, grandmother. Okay. Um, Next item we have over here, the next two items tie together because of condition reasons. Um, I'm going to show you the first one, and I want you to read the condition area. Tic Tac Tales 19, 1945 Magazine, Enterprises, American Flag. What does that condition say? Well, it's acceptable. Piece missing on bottom, closed tear, little crayon on cover, some dirt. It is just... <clears throat> mangled. Okay, it's got a piece missing on cover. Another piece missing there. I might have forgotten to wow, talk about. Wow, if it were in condition. Yeah, it's seen better days. I put it up for twenty-four dollars. Somebody offered me forty-five on it. Whoa! Guess what I did? 
Bye-bye. I sold it. Don't you collect this stuff? Not that. Okay. <laughs> Not in that mangled condition, no. Okay. Um, my thought was, I don't know what it guides for. I don't care what it guides for. It's in such bad shape as far as that goes that I'm very, very happy to take $45 off yeah. of it. I know it has a flag cover, so it's it's in demand. Or if it's a TikToker. Oh, maybe he's using it on there. It could be TikTok itself bought it. Now, the next item I have up here also has a few condition issues, if you would read the condition after I bring it up. Okay. Uh, American Home Magazine, November 1975, Brook Shields Pumpkin Pie. Wow, very impressive. Early Brook. Mail and label and piece cover missing is seen. Torn off mail and label, some pages coming loose. Wow. And the person returned, I took, I took a $30 offer. They're returning it because the condition's bad. Now, my question is... <laughs> they saw that. Yeah, exactly. They saw that, and I, I accurately described it. It makes you wonder exactly what they thought. But that is one of the earliest uh, Brook Shields covers out there. Definitely do keep your eyes open for it. Yeah, I mean, if that was in mint condition, I'd throw at least 100 on Yeah, it definitely. Easily. Yeah, I mean, you see the condition it's in, and I, I just threw $39. Sold a in. magazine from the 70s with her on it as a teenager, and it went for 50 Yeah, and you see the condition that it's in, and I thought 39 was fair, and the person did offer me 30 and I did accept it. But again, I don't know did what. You know that was her. You had to look in the inside. No, I knew that was her. Yeah, okay. yeah I had done some research, and it was one uh, of creeper. <laughs> <laughs> if not her first, I, if not her first magazine cover. It was darn near her first thing. Um, yeah. I think it was mentioned in her Wikipedia page, as a matter of fact, which is what turned wow. me on to because I was doing some research of something are. on her. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it turned me on to that issue existing, and then I did some research on it, found this online, and I think I paid $5 on eBay for it, yep, um, sure even in that condition. Allegedly got 30 except the person thought it was mint condition, apparently, which it's not. <laughs> Hopefully that helps you a little bit. We had a little too much fun this episode. Uh, hit the like button if you could, and we will see you next video. Take care. Bye-bye.